Retroviruses are viruses that infect eukaryotic cells. Retroviral virus particles are also called virions. They contain two RNA copies of their genome, as well as viral proteins, all inside a protein shell called the capsid. The retroviral capsid is surrounded by an envelope derived from host membranes that also contains viral glycoproteins. Let's now consider the retroviral life cycle in detail. During infection of a cell, the virion binds to a specific surface receptor protein via the viral glycoproteins. The viral envelope then fuses with the host cell membrane, delivering the capsid and its contents into the cell. Once inside the host cell, the viral RNA genome is converted into a double-stranded RNA genome by the virally encoded reverse transcriptase, an RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. This viral DNA genome is also called a cDNA. The termini of the viral DNA genome are directly oriented repeat sequences called long terminal repeats, which are several hundred base pairs long. The viral integrase interacts with the ends of the viral DNA. The capsid is then disassembled and the cDNA integrase complex is transported into the nucleus. The viral DNA is integrated into the host genome in a transposition reaction mediated by integrase. Once integrated, the viral DNA is called a provirus. The provirus is transcribed by the host's RNA polymerase forming mRNAs, which are translocated into the cytoplasm. Copies of these mRNAs will also be packaged into new virions. Once in the host cytoplasm, the viral mRNAs are translated by the host machinery to yield the capsid proteins, membrane glycoproteins, reverse transcriptase and integrase. The protein components of the capsid then assemble, encompassing the RNA viral genomes and the viral proteins. Viral glycoproteins then assemble in the host membrane, forming sites of capsid interaction. Membrane enveloped virions then bud from the cell, ready to infect a new cell. Retroviral like transposons are elements whose intracellular life cycle is very similar to that of retroviruses, but which do not exit the host cell. As a result, they are not transmitted from cell to cell. Like a retrovirus, the integrated form of the retroviral-like transposon has direct repeats called long terminal repeats, which are several hundred base pairs long. The provirus is transcribed by host RNA polymerase to generate mRNAs. These mRNAs are transported to the cytoplasm. Once in the cytoplasm, the mRNAs are translated to generate viral proteins. The capsid then assembles, packaging the viral RNA and proteins and forming a retroviral-like particle which does not exit the cell. The RNA is then reverse transcribed to form the retroviral-like DNA, also called a cDNA. The integrase then binds to long terminal repeats of the cDNA. The cDNA with its bound integrase is transported into the nucleus and is then integrated into the host genome to form the provirus, completing the cycle.